doing like a million different things right now with different Android phones, testing a bunch of stuff, but I need ADB and well, I'm going to show you how to install it on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Um, that's it. Welcome to Windows. I'm going to be your guide through this process. And if you will take a look down at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the start button. So you can go there, open a browser. I'm going to open Firefox. I have it right here. So we can search for platform tools. We can go right here to the Android developers webpage. And we can just scroll down to right where it says Windows. Now you can see it does say it for Mac and Linux, but we'll get into that after. So we can just scroll all the way down, check this box here. Nice alignment. Uh, and download Android SDK platform tools for Windows. Now I'm just gonna move this onto the desktop to make it a little bit easier. So now let's open this and we're just going to take the platform tools folder right here and we're just gonna drag it directly onto the C drive. It's copying over, go to the C drive and you can see that we have platform tools right here. Now, if you wanna access platform tools, there's kind of some steps that you got to do. Uh, now let's open terminal. Now we're in PowerShell by default, but we actually need command prompt for this. So we can just open up command prompt and you can see that we're still in the same directory. So that's the C drive users. And then this is my company laptop. So this is TBay tech. So in here we can change the directory with CD. So we'll do a capital C colon and then a backslash. And that's going to change to the C drive. Now in here we can hit dir. So that way it's going to list everything in here. And we can see that we have this platform tools folder. So we can change directory again, put another backslash and then platform dash tools. Now we're actually in this platform tools folder. So we can hit dir again to list everything in here. And you can see that there's adb.exe. If we run adb as a command, then that's going to run that program and we can check which version it is. So you can see that it works totally fine. No issues at all. Now there's a much easier way to do all of this. So we can just get rid of this. So I'll just pin that there because we're going to be coming back to it. Uh, now let's go to settings. Now in the settings, we can go to system, go all the way down to about. And then right here in the related links, we will go to advanced system settings, click on this environment variables button. Now in here, in this bottom box under the system variables, we want to find path. We're going to click on that and we're going to click on edit. Now in here, we want to add a new one. So we don't actually want to change any of these. So we're going to click on new and we're going to add the directory to C colon backslash platform dash tools and another backslash and hit enter. So now that's in there as a system path. So we can hit okay and okay and okay and close this and we can open terminal again. And now you can see that uh, it's opening in PowerShell and it's in the user, but we can just do ADB version and it's just going to work now because now ADB is system wide. So you can access it in PowerShell or command prompt because ADB is just part of windows. Uh, so let's clear this. And now let's say that you're using uh, something like Winget. And the reason that I didn't go to this first is because most windows users are very entry level users. So you're probably following some kind of guide on how to use ADB because even though that's going to be like a longer process, it's visual. So we're opening a browser, we're searching for something, downloading something, we're moving a file. It's a lot of uh, like physical work. So doing it this way, it's more visual for an entry user, but you can also do something like Winget and then install dash dash ID Google dot platform tools. And if we did something like this, that'll install it with Winget. Or if you're using the scoop package manager, then it would be scoop install ADB. So that's a very simple one. Or if you're using chocolatey, then it would be C H O C install ADB. So there's ways to install it through package managers, but the reason that I didn't use this first is because if you're using a package manager with Windows, then you're probably an advanced enough user that you don't need this guide, which is why I went with the longer entry level route to start. So that's it for Windows. That's how you get ADB working system wide. At this point, you can shut down the computer, restart, do whatever you want. And ADB is always going to be part of the system now to use whenever you want. When you're updating ADB to a newer version, all you have to do is just overwrite this folder with the new one. So you just download the latest zip, you drag it right in here. You say, yes, replace all whatever that's in there that's conflicting. And it's just going to work totally fine. Now, if you're using a package manager, then you can obviously just update the packages through there. And again, everything's going to be totally fine. So that's it. That's ADB for Windows. So let's switch over to Mac OS.
Welcome to macOS, and unlike the Windows version, what we're gonna be doing is starting with a package manager. Now this is mostly because if you're using a Mac, and you're gonna be doing things with Android, then you're probably a more advanced user as most entry-level users are gonna be using Windows when they start getting into this kind of thing. So we are gonna be opening the browser, but we're not looking for platform tools like we did before, but rather we're gonna be going to brew.sh. Now in here, you can just copy this entire script. We can push command space to open the spotlight search and we can search for terminal. Now in here, you can paste that command in, enter your password, do all of the good stuff that it wants you to do. Now, if you haven't done this before, then it's also going to want to install the Xcode command line tools, and that's gonna take a very long time. So just leave it. It could take up to an hour to actually fully install this, but once it's done, it's done. And you never have to do this process again. Now to install ADB, all we need to do is type in brew install dash dash task, and then Android dash platform dash tools. We can hit enter. Now it's gonna download everything we need, wait till this finishes up, and that's it. So let's clear this up and we can do ADB version. And you can see that ADB is fully working and ready to go. And that's it. So it's super simple once you have a package manager installed. Now this is mostly because using Android and Mac OS, it is not as easy as it is on Windows. So you're probably more familiar with doing some technical stuff or you're at least gonna have to learn it. So you might as well start by installing Brew and installing a package manager to get more comfortable in terminal since you're gonna be using terminal for ADB anyway. And that's it, we're done with Mac OS. So that was fairly painless. Aside from the Xcode command line tools that will take forever to install, this is a very quick and seamless install as compared to the whole manual process that you did on Windows. But if you have Winget, Scoop, or Chocolatey installed, then it'll be a much more simple process uh, similar to what we did here. Now let's go over to Linux. Welcome to Linux. We can start by opening Terminal. If you've never used Terminal before, you're just gonna wanna sudo app update real quick. Make sure everything is up to date. Now we're just gonna be typing in sudo app install android dash sdk dash platform dash tools and we can even put a little yes flag so that way it'll automatically agree to anything that follows now we can clear this up and we can just do adb version which you can see is fully working now or if you're using something like fedora then you could just like dnf and then install and then it would be android tools or if you're using arch or endeavor or even manjaro if you have aur enabled and it'd be sudo pacman dash s and then it would be android tools so there's obviously going to be slightly different commands depending on which version of linux you're using or at least which package manager you're using but it is basically a one command install and it's just done which is why this is the last one because this is the easiest one to do you don't have to install a package manager because package managers are already installed in linux out of the box because that's that's how they work. Hopefully you're able to get ADB installed and working on whatever operating system you're running on. And now you can continue on with, I mean, whatever it was that you were doing that you needed ADB for. Uh, that's that's it. Um, yeah, like the video. If you liked it, subscribe. That's cool. Or don't. I, I don't know. I'm not telling you what to do. Just slightly ahead of our time. Panasonic.